So I've gone through and chose the hardest questions out of all of the entire unit. I picked the questions that most of my students got wrong. And we're going to go to some of the other science teachers in the science department and ask them the hardest questions throughout the entire year. Let's see how they do. For the first round of TSBS, we have Mr. Bouchard, Ms. Schultz, and Ms. Murdoch. All of them are biology teachers. Let's see what they got. So basically, I have two equations. You're just going to answer true or false. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So the first question is, the majority of the damage done to Japan during World War II came from the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs. Hmm. Was it true? True. I'm going to say true. So the answer is false. Oh my goodness, okay. I had a feeling maybe I was being set up. <laughs> okay. What? False. false, I wondered, yeah, why else would you have asked, but yes. <laughs> so I think that, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm aware of the, like, the Blitz in London and other, the, all the damage that the conventional bombs did, and I thought, yeah, it might be, it just seems that the amount of damage that can be done by atomic bombs is so great, but yeah, okay. Was it, be, uh, well, I'm not surprised because there was there was a lot of bombings that happened throughout the area, but I thought that mass would have just, but it was so small of one concentrated area when it was probably throughout the whole country with mom. Oh, that's interesting. For the first question, all three teachers got it wrong. Let's see how they improve for the second question. The second question is, the first animal in space were fruit flies. Fruit flies, okay. So it's true or false? False? No, monkeys. It's false. No, false. The answer is true. true. I thought it was a dog. Okay. The answer is true. What? <laughs> I thought it was monkeys. Okay. Yep. Dang it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought it was uh, a dog or a monkey. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, that surprises me. And that's the second question. None of the teachers got it right. Let's see who's gonna get the last point and be the first one to score. The third question is, brown eggs come from brown chickens who have more melanin in their feathers. Is it true or false? Yes. That's false. Yeah, that's false. Melanin is in the skin, I believe, so I'm gonna say false. The answer is false. Yes! Yeah, so the answer is false. Okay, got that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. <laughs> you want me to repeat it again? No, brown eggs come from brown chickens. Yeah. Chocolate milk does not come from brown cows, but brown eggs come from brown chickens. I know. Well, the melanin is not coming from their feathers, but the fact that they have brown feathers <laughs> is the same thing going on that makes their eggs brown. I know, but it's not from their it's feathers. It's not from their feathers. You didn't say that. I say that. <laughs> okay. We have the video right here. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, so you got one from the three equations. What do you think? Ah, those were good questions. I liked them a lot. I really appreciate it. That was pretty cool. Thank you. I think Miss Murdoch's very smart, and so is Miss Schultz. They'll probably get two out of three. So, you got one from three. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, I'm glad I got the biology question right. <laughs> Since I'm a biology teacher, I would have hoped I'd got that right. Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess I, I'm always hoping to learn more, so I just maybe learned something today. How compared to them? Yeah, compared to their result. Um, I don't know. I would hope that I would be on par with pe people who are thinkers and curious and who hopefully know their history. Yep. <laughs> Do I, 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 I think those are good questions that get you thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stay tuned to see the next episode of Science T-shirts battling in DSBS. Signing off for WMHS News, this is Brian Kitty Warapat.